we got to move beyond this idea of like chat bots. It's, uh, it's literally the most boring aspect of AI. Sure, they're kind of fun to use, but it's going to be in things, uh, it, it, you know, at, to borrow a, a page from Apple here, they, they want their technology behind the scenes, right? Not up in front. And that's where AI really wins. So for instance, companies like Eufy and now Ring make smart cameras for your house. And not only can they, of course, identify people versus say a dog coming up into your yard, but they can actually identify the people via facial recognition. Now there's a lot of controversy around that, but that is one aspect. Um, you know, we're getting previews right now for a CES coming up at the beginning of January. We've already seen like a toilet that analyzes your urine for health concerns or mirrors that can actually measure your blood pressure, right? So these are all instances of machine learning and AI in our lives, but it's not something you directly pick up and it's like, I am now using AI. And that's really going to be the future here. You're going to see just everything around you kind of get smarter. You're not necessarily going to know how it works, what it's doing, what it's even called, but it's going to be all these features sort of improving our lives daily. At least that's the goal. I'm sensing a lot of blowback right now from consumers who are you're either tired of all this or sort of um, there's a lot of promises. Plus, with the threats of eliminating jobs is not helping. So I think there's a lot of challenge here to build up confidence in users.